Hello there. I hope you are doing well today. I have come to show you how to number your project in Word using MS Word, Microsoft Office Word, just in case you don't know what that short form is. All right. So maybe you've seen something like this where you have the title page and I mean, recall that if you're, if you're working with project, you don't usually have page numbering on the title page. And then you go to abstract, you see a page number, which in most cases is um, Roman numerals. And then you see the table of content list of figures and just everything before you get to your chapter one. And um, I actually call this introduction, but yeah, maybe so that I can so that this is going to be clear, I think, let me just call this chapter one. All right. So, but what I want to even show you is this, as you can see, we have a page number here, which starts at one and we have the next one, which is two, which, which are actual numbers. And so this is what I want to show you how to do using Microsoft Office Word. I know that what I've seen people do at times is that people just copy all these ones that have num Roman numerals. They just copy it over to another file. And because I know that this, this seems like it's, it, it seems like it's something very difficult, but it's actually not. So let's walk through it together so that I don't talk too much. I've created a new file now, as you can see, I don't have all those uh, numbers there, but yeah, so, so that you don't get confused because this is showing one now and I haven't even numbered it. So I'm going to close this page up. So now we have just this document. So let me start by typing title page. Of course I should put this, let me change the font type to times new Roman. Uh, let me change this to times new Roman. Here we have it. I'm going to pick the regular. Yeah. Just for the, for the, for the sake of time, in the interest of time, I'm not, I'm not going to do any settings. So we have the title page here. So here we have abstract and in the next page, and by the way, the way I'm going to the next page is by using, if you're on windows, it's control enter. If you're on Mac, it's command enter. So, we have abstract. So say we have table of content and the next one we have, um, list of figures. Yeah. Something like that. And then here we have chapter one, chapter one in the next page. Say we have chapter two and in the next one, say we have chapter three, chapter three. And in the next one, say we have chapter four. And again, I'm just going to stop there in the interest of time. So now you can see, we don't have any page number on this sheet. And like I said, what I see people do at times is that they copy this list of, from this list of figures all the way to um, the, the, the title page, they copy everything to another document. You don't have to do that. You can manage everything you have here. And that's because it's easier to do here, especially when you want to update your table of contents. It makes it easier for you to do it that way. So let me show you how to do it in just a moment. And this is simple. Trust me. So you go to your chapter one in this case, because I want chapter one to start numbering at one at number one, not Roman numeral one. So I go to chapter one, then go to layout. Under layout, look for bricks. When you click bricks, look for next page. Just click on next page. When you click on next page, then go to insert because once you've done that, it has broken this document into two different sections now. And so the next thing will be to number it. So let's go to chapter one. You go to chapter one, go to insert. Let's look for page numbers. Look at page numbers here. I have mine here. So I'm going to choose page number and from there I will choose format. And because I want number format to be one, two, three. And like, as you can see here, we have Roman numerals one, two, and you have ABC depending on the format you want to use. And I don't want to include, include chapter number, but I want it to start at one. 
Uh, recall that chapter one starts at one, right? So I want it to start at one. So I pick start at one. And there are times that you might you might want to make it start at something else. So in that case, you just choose whatever number you want it to start at. But in this case, in most cases, chapter one, you start at one. And so I'll click OK. Now, when I click OK, I'll click OK again, just so it um, affects these changes. And as you can see, I have one here. And if you scroll down in chapter two, I have two. On chapter three, I now have page three. And so the, the, the good thing about this is that, so say you have something you've written in chapter, um, in chapter three, um, and again, I'm just, I'm just typing anything, right? But I'm just assuming that you understand what I mean, like you have documents that you're typing. So as you can see now, we have this page four. So it automatically keeps numbering it for you. And the good part of this is that even if you now update your table of contents, it's going to automatically generate, um, include those page numbers for you. So how, I mean, you, you'll be wondering, but hey, we have title page and we have one here, right? And we have abstract, we have number two, which is not Roman numeral. So let's quickly work on that. I'll go to the title page and the title page from the title page, I'll go to insert again and I'll go to page numbers. So just so that you know, I'll click on insert. I'll go to page number, then page number. Now here, because I don't want to show show number on the first page, which is of course the title page. So I check this because I don't want, I, I uncheck it. I don't want it to show on the first page. The next thing I will do is to go to format. When I get to format, I want to change the number format. I want to change it from numbers to Roman numerals. And of course, if you want the the other type of Roman numeral, just pick that, any one you want. But yeah, I'll go with this, which I think is the common one. And again, I will start at one. So let's see what happens if we do this. And now you can see we don't have any number there. And as you can see, we don't have any number on the title page. So there's no page number on the title page, which of course is normal. That's supposed to be the case. And if you look at the abstract, we now have abstract starting at two, which is Roman numeral. And this at three, list of figures at four, then you now have chapter one, boom, at one, number one. So this is how you do this page numbering automatically in Microsoft Office Word. I hope this was helpful. And let me know in the comment section if you have any difficulty in doing this, in trying this out, but I don't think it should be something difficult. And yeah, that's just what I want to show you today. I hope this has really this was really helpful and I hope that you can now go ahead to type your project and number your project in just one um, document. See you in the next one. I don't know what it's going to be. Bye for now. Thank you for watching.